The grief and agony of two young girls who wait to see if the Pakistani government will execute their jailed mother. Whenever I see her picture, I cry, says 12-year-old Isham. This month, a Pakistani court sentenced Isham and Isha's mother, Asiya Bibi, to death. Not because she killed, injured, or stole, but simply because she said something. Prosecutors say Asiya Bibi insulted Islam and the Prophet Muhammad. They say the alleged incident happened when she was picking berries in this field in the town of Itanwali, just about two hours west of Lahore. Court records show Asiya was sharing a bucket of drinking water with fellow workers, but when she dipped her cup, her fellow workers refused the water, saying it had been touched by a non-Muslim woman. Asiya Bibi is a Christian. The women argued. Mafia Sitar and her sisters say they were there and heard Asiya's insults. She said your Muhammad had worms in his mouth before he died, Sitar told us. A crude way of saying Muhammad was no prophet. The town cleric Kari Salam reported the incident to police who arrested Bibi. After nearly 15 months in this jail came the conviction and the death sentence. Per Section 295C of Pakistan's Penal Code, whoever defiles the name of the Prophet Muhammad shall be punished with death or imprisonment for life. <laughs> when I heard the decision, my heart ached, says Asiya's husband, who denies she ever insulted Muhammad. He says death threats forced him and his daughters, one of them disabled, to flee their village. Human rights groups have long blamed Pakistan's blasphemy laws for persecution and violence against religious minorities, like this attack last year on a Christian village and recent bombings of minority Muslim mosques. Activists say the government has refused to amend the law for fear of a backlash from Islamist groups and their followers, who deem scrapping the law as un-Islamic. Pakistan's law minister did not respond to our request for an interview. Should Asiya Bibi be hanged? In her hometown, the verdict? To that power. A unanimous yes. The town cleric called Asiya's death sentence one of the happiest moments of his life. Tears of joy poured from my eyes, he said. The cleric's tears in stark contrast to those shed by two girls who want their mother to live. Reza Sayyid, CNN, Itanwali, Pakistan.